Welcome to Berlin and welcome to a room full with enough giant contraptions to make Dr. Frankenstein's lab look like child's play. We're here to learn about this. It's the e-tron, Audi's 250 mile range EV coming to market next year. Now this is just a prototype as you can tell by the crazy wrap that's on there. And we won't see the full production version until a little bit later this year. But today we're gonna learn all about the battery technology that makes this thing tick. First though, we're gonna shoot it with a bolt of lightning. So if you're near a Faraday cage, you may want to get in. So that was pretty impressive, but there is some method to that madness. As you can see, the electrical system in the car is still working, despite the fact that it just got hit by a bolt of lightning. The tires haven't melted, and overall, the car is still looking more or less just fine, other than some burn marks here on the roof. That shows that the car can survive that kind of punishment in the real world. But potential buyers of a car like this are gonna be more worried about other kinds of punishment, namely, how's it gonna survive in a crash test? To find out about that, we're gonna walk over here a little bit. This is the battery pack that makes up the floor of the e-tron. This thing weighs 715 kilograms. That's over 1,500 pounds or about three quarters the weight of a Mazda MX-5 Miata just in the battery pack alone. Now, a lot of that is, of course, the batteries themselves. It's all surrounded by these massive aluminum cast portions that give this really strong crash rigidity. So if this thing gets in a side impact, especially with something like a telephone pole, it won't just combust. You don't want that from your battery pack. Another thing that keeps this safe is the cooling system that runs through. We've got coolant lines that run through the front all the way through the battery pack to keep this thing modulated for temperature, whether it's being too cold or too hot outside, or even when this thing is charging, the battery pack can be kept in its sweet spot to ensure that you get maximum charge out of the pack at all times. That'll keep this thing living longer than it would otherwise. What's inside? Well, there are 36 of these battery pack modules inside, each one with 12 individual cells, and that gives you 95 kilowatt hours of charge within this battery pack, enough to give that car, again, 250 miles of range. How do you get that range? How do you get the charge in the battery pack? We're gonna do a little more walking to see that too. The final part of the equation is how you charge the car. How do you get the electricity in the battery in the first place? Audi's saying that about 90% of the charging of this car is expected to be done at home. So they have a number of different charges that you can install in your garage and that'll charge the car in about four and a half hours. Idea being you get home at the end of the day, you plug your car in, and then in the morning, it's fully topped up and you've got 250 miles of charge to go. But what about those days when you need to do a little bit of road tripping? You're gonna go on the road and you wanna go more than 250 miles. Audi's working on partnerships with a lot of different charging networks to make sure that wherever you go, whatever kind of charger is out there, you'll be able to use one card, tap it, and just charge up your car regardless. How will you do that? Well, it'll be with a charging system like this. This is a CCS-based charger, which will give the car 150 kilowatt hours of charging, enough to charge the car to 80% charge, about 200 miles of range, in only 30 minutes. That should be plenty of time to ensure that you can get to where you need to go and give you an excuse to take a little bit of a bathroom break along the way too. We've learned a lot about the e-tron today, but we still have a lot of questions left to answer. Things like, how much is it gonna cost and when exactly will you be able to buy them? Audi's gonna be teasing more information about the e-tron through the course of the summer, so you wanna stay tuned right here to find out more.